Hello again and welcome to the awesome biology channel where today I'm going to sing you a song about the isoelectric point or the PI of a protein and the pH of the solution that that protein is sitting in because this relationship is really hard to remember but it is super important especially for things like native gel electrophoresis. So I hope that you enjoy the song and just a big shout out to anyone out there who's studying up for an exam. Much strength to you. Hello everyone and welcome again to Nikki's Backyard Biochemistry. Today we're going to be talking about proteins and how the isoelectric point or the PI of a protein and the pH of the solution that the protein is in can affect the charge on a protein. And that is what I am today. I'm a protein and I have a PI of 8. Now let's see what happens when this protein with this PI of 8 gets put into a solution with a pH that's much lower than it. This solution has a pH of two. Me, the protein, I've got a pi of eight. My pi is higher than the pH. If your pi is higher than the pH, the protein positive if your pi is higher than the pH the protein will be positive if I took that positive protein and I ran it on a native gel It would move towards the negative electrode. In this case, the negative electrode's called the cathode. I know that might be confusing if you're used to the cathode being the positive electrode. It's because this is an electrolytic and not a galvanic cell. If you're ever really stuck and you're not sure which one is which, you can just call it the negative electrode. There's something more important for you to remember. And that is if you pee is higher than the pH. The protein will be positive if your pi is higher than the pH. The protein will have a net positive charge. The awesome biology channel. Please subscribe. Yeah, go on and hit that button.